All right, y'all. So this video right here, right? I'm gonna honestly just express myself about this retention journey and no fab, and also you know add some stock market talk to it because. I feel like this world is in some way, shape or form, like conditioned to be backwards. And when people are telling y'all on the internet that retention is, is weird or retention don't work and all this negative energy that they have towards their own power, it makes me feel like, are y'all trying to lead people astray? Do y'all understand the damage, the mental damage, the spiritual damage that watching PMO does to you? Do you understand how weak watching those videos make you feel? To the point where you're giving yourself erectile dysfunction, brain fog, a lack of focus, a lack of clarity. You're keeping your vibration in the form of lack. And you're consciously making that decision. Can't no man on the face of this earth tell me that semen retention isn't important and it doesn't work. I'm going to tell y'all, based off of my own personal experience, that retaining your essence is your real power. If uh, like bro, it, it really makes me feel a way when I when I when I see these this this negative perception that people be having because it's like bro, so then what what, what are you telling yourself? That watching PMO is healthy? That just releasing recklessly is healthy for you? All you doing is lying to yourself and then you believe the lie. The same way that the doctors tell y'all that, oh, releasing your seed is perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Okay, whatever. So people walk around just believing it. They got a lack of energy, a lack of drive, a lack of ambition, no type of faith. But I bet you if you get on retention, I bet you if you start watching those PMO videos, you're going to see life totally different. Now, of course, I got to show my gratitude before I continue the video. So thank you to everybody that's been rocking out with me. Thank y'all for helping me get close to 6,000 supporters on this YouTube channel. I appreciate y'all. Shout out to the community. SR, no fat, and the stock market community. We out here. All right? Do not... Let people lead you astray. God, the creator of all, the source, is going to show you why it's important for you to retain your energy. Because it's going to transform your life as long as you continue to do the work. And then you have to remember that it's an internal journey. It's internal work. You're using the PMO to cope with your life and your circumstances rather than making that change. Because people fear change. People are afraid to let go of what's not serving them because they are afraid to face their own emotions. But when you let fear get in the way, you stop yourself from seeing the abundance in yourself. I'm not, I'm not some guru. I don't even like that word. I am a spiritual being having this 3D human experience just like you. And I'm here to tell you before retention, before no fat, super weak minded. Everything we just lost. I have no real confidence in myself. No real drive and desire to want to improve. Me getting over attention, I got that hunger. I got that drive. Every day I'm tunnel vision. I'm focused on my goals. I'm focused on my purpose. I put my purpose over my pleasure. But they want you to put your pleasure over your purpose. 
You can't always feed the flesh 24 seven. You have to learn how to feed your soul, feed your spirit. That's the real you. Your life force energy matters. But the people that tell you, oh, secret retention don't matter, want you to think that your life, force, your life force energy don't really matter. And I don't like that. I'm not better than you. You're not better than me. I'm just a person here to spread the message, bro. Speaking about the things that I wish somebody would have taught me when I was in my teenage years, when I was in my early 20s. But I will tell y'all, bro, retain your seed, no matter how many days you want, it's the fact that you're even starting the journey. You're even giving your body a chance to just naturally stay in this natural state. You're learning how to make a better internal change. Because if you have that lack of self-control, then something outside of you will continue to control you. Think about that. And all you're gonna do is keep using these whack ass excuses. Oh, it's too hard. Oh, I can't do it. I can't stop watching porn. I need that. I need that dopamine. I need that head of release. No, you don't. No, you don't. Because all you're doing is messing up that dopamine, your dopamine receptors. All you're doing is keeping yourself in a cycle like this. And, and you feel like there's no way out. But the only way out is going within. Asking God to guide you. Every day, I ask God to guide me, protect me, and show me what I need to see. Every single day, bro. God is my best friend. I praise God every day. We locked in for life like this, bro. We locked in. Because God was able to show me every day, yo, Terrence. Simmer down, use this energy of yours and put it, put it into areas of your life that you know need improvement. That ain't nobody about to come and save you or help you with. Only you can save yourself. And I've been doing that every freaking day. And it's, it's a way better feeling than just depleting and just wasting the seed to a fucking screen. And even for those, bruh, even for those that's in a relationship, build that connection. Build that connection with your lady. Build that connection with your spouse, bruh. Think outside the fucking physical. Because all we like to pay attention to is the physical. She look good. Her body is nice. What about her mindset? What about her spiritual growth? That's important. PMO programs you to just think about 3D physical. I told you in my last video, bruh, you got the spiritual realm. Then you got the physical realm. You feel me? But you got the spiritual realm. The spiritual realm is going to protect you, guide you, root for you on this journey, bruh. Because you're doing the right thing. My phone went out of storage. My apologies. But, like I was saying, the spiritual realm will reward you because you are doing the right thing, bruh. You are consciously making the decision to take back your internal power. If you are not going to procreate and bring another verse of you into this world, you have to use this energy to bring another version of you into this world, bro. Meaning, you as a person have to want to get better, have to want to improve. You as a person got to stay focused on the bigger picture. Because this energy is not just used just for you to fornicate. This is your creative life force, bruh. This is your DNA. This is, the, this is the energy of how, how you are here. You understand what I'm saying? So you, you, you got to take care of it and allow it to take care of you. 
You have to learn how to be a, a more calm-minded person. How many of us walk around angry and want, wanting to be angry at the world, but yet, what is the cause of the anger? How many of us are still trying to hold on to the past and uh, 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 not allowing the, the, the healing aspect to happen? Because you have to heal what you've been through. And you're not going to heal it by watching PMOs. It's never going to happen. If anything, it's going to make you feel worse and worse and worse. Take care of this energy, right? Let it build up. Let it allow your body to get back to its natural state and to feel good. And take it one day at a time. Even if you fall down, it don't matter. Semen retention is a lifestyle. It is about you getting back up and you, you keep going. As long as you don't quit, as long as you don't fall into the same cycles, as long as you don't be like, all right, that's it, I don't want to be a semen retention no more. Oh, I'm going to just go back to my old self. It's none of that. Once you know about this journey, there is no going back. God has you on this journey for a reason, but it's up to you to see that. With your third eye. Because we can only see but so much with these two eyes, right? Stop telling people on this platform. Stop telling people that retention is weird. And retention don't matter. And all that negative stuff, right? Just tell yourself. I don't have no self-control. I don't have no self-discipline. Don't tell it to other people. Because all you're doing is projecting. Don't project. Tell people the truth. Tell people what they need to hear. And the truth is, you need to retain your seed, bruh. The truth is, you need to get the mental clarity and stop giving yourself the brain fog. The truth is, God is within and God is going to show you why retention is important. That's all. Also, too, like I said, we're going to talk about some stock market just right quick. Buy yourself some assets. Reward yourself on this journey. You, you, people think that assets are not important and it's too hard. No, it's not, bro. You just don't have the discipline and the control. You're impulsive. Impulsive spending. Impulsive this. Impulsive that. Learn how to want versus needs. Delay gratification over instant gratification. All right? Thank y'all for rocking out with me. Real talk. We almost at 6K. We almost there, bro. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. You feel me? Your first time to, if this is your first time to my channel, subscribe. Give today's video a thumbs up. It's free 99. And leave your comments below. Also, y'all already know, free Telegram chat, free Discord chat will be in the comment section below. Thank y'all for rocking out with me. It's your boy Terrence Carter. TC Talks. TC Fitness. Uh, 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 uh. Hold on. Yes, sir. We out here.